AQL also supports some basic functions like this one in here, which is in which we are specifying from the payload, give me the strings in a UTF-8 format from all the events, and this is the results you get. And there are some basic functions that you can use for manipulating this, the results of the string. You can, for example, use the long to convert it to long or double or str for string. You can find the length of the string or str length. You can find a position of a particular uh, string or str post. Uh, get a soft string with a soft string function. Concatenate uh, strings, uh, parse the date and time. Uh, th there is a uh, converting to op or everything to upper or lower case and replace the first instance of this string in the results or replace all I mean a lot of uh, manipulation you can actually do in it and you can see the details on it on the documentation here we want the first column to be a QID as we see here and then we want the actual name of the QID and, and in case you haven't seen it before QID is a unique number that curator assigned to every specific event. And after those two columns, we just want to put the asterisk just to get the standard default uh, columns that we get uh, in all the searches. Besides QID name, uh, there are very many other uh, categories you can look at, uh, functions you can actually look at uh, on the documentation. Some examples worth uh, mentioning are, for example, log source name, uh, network name, uh, protocol name, and uh, a particular reference table. If you want to rename a column to a specific you know, name that you want to give it to, like as I'm doing in here, I call this one my parameter, and I put it between double quotes because there's a space in it. If I just want to put uh, uh, just the word parameter, I can just have it uh, under uh, single quotes. But again, that, that's a way of really uh, you formatting the the columns uh, names that you want. And remember, you can actually have these uh, been, as we said before, in the first part of the tutorial, you can export those. And again, you can make those uh, more complex to say, give me the first column, the QID name from the events where that such a QID name is uh, something like uh, health, uh, case insensitive from the last uh, two days. Another example of using a function here, the category names, uh, we, here we want the first, uh, in the first column, the category number and its uh, particular name, then all the other fields from the events. Another example of a function, the log source name. And here, we can see an interesting case where we can actually search uh, all those events where the source IP is this one and has an often associated with it. And in fact, if we see this offense, the offense 180, we actually see that it does have that source IP as uh, associated with with that offense. And here are all, are all the all those events. Here, we can select the events that were involved in the offense number 181. You get the standard uh, column definitions. Another useful function is the count function, in which, for example, in here we are asking to count all the events that we have in this uh, demo system. And we get the result here. Here we do the count, but only on those events are have a credibility greater than nine, and that number gets reduced somehow. The search will produce all the usernames that we have uh, in all the events, and the count of uh, uh, sources IP, and of course group by username. If we don't want to count all the events, but only the the single occurrence of each and every one, as we see here, we use unique count instead of count. Here's an interesting example of a search in which we want to get the events per second per log source. So in here we get 
to add all the uh, event counts per every one of the log sources, do the conversion to, to bring it up up to seconds, and reports as EPSs uh, in ascending uh, order for the last six hours. This example came from our friends uh, Rob Davis. Rob Davis from Dallas also provided this uh, nice uh, AQL query in which you get the geolocation and the country specified. So This is an interesting example in which we want to get uh, the user ID, which unfortunately I don't have in my demo data anyone who has logged in, to a particular uh, source IP at that, at that, that now function is at that, that particular time. So if we want to get, for example, the who was the last uh, user uh, name uh, log in to this particular source IP, that's the command that will give us that data. In this example, I'm getting, trying to get the network name of the source IP, put it as uh, source net, the network name of the destination IP, using the network name function, uh, from events. But the problem is I get this other thing. What I can do is I can filter those. I don't want those that does not have the, the name by putting where destination is different than other. and I get more meaningful data that way. This is an interesting example in which I want to see which events actually trigger one of my rules, and more of the, most of the custom rules in this demo system are called like me something, so I put that qualifier in there, and then you get uh, those events.